graffiti was turned on to me, I guess, growing up in an inner city, I would just wonder, though, I'd always see, like, bubble letters and cartoons on a train, and being that I was already drawing at the time, a friend of mine happened to be looking at a photo, and I was like, what are you looking at? And he showed me the picture, and the, the plane with his initials on it. So I just got into it like that. Uh, you know, I know there's a stigma attached with graffiti to, to the vandalism aspect, and you can look at it that way, but there's also another flip side to the coin. If you look at the art itself and the designs that you see within the pieces in graffiti, it doesn't look like any other art in art history. And then I just, I basically stumbled upon the, the style of what we call the abstracts by accident. I just was basically messing around and I liked the way the messing around was coming, coming out. So I, I tried to like do something with it by adding layers and layers and layers of the shapes that I use using acrylics, spray paint, enamel, uh, ink, house paint, uh, gesso, you know, a lot of people look at them and the paintings look like they're going some, which, you know, one way or the other, depending on which way I go with them. I really do love it. I enjoy it and uh, I don't see myself ever not doing it.